the, the title of my uh, proposal that I submitted is uh, Improving GWA-Based Discovery for Early Onset Breast Cancer. Um, so GWA means, means genome-wide association, which is a, a study design that I'll, that I'll say a few words about. Uh, so my research is primarily focused on breast cancer, also prostate cancer, and, and a little bit of pancreatic cancer. Um, so, um, as I mentioned, we study genetic factors, which means um, inherited features uh, that are encoded in your genome that influence your um, risk for cancers. Uh, for example, this is, this, is a, uh, this is a figure which sort of gives the landscapes of what we know about breast cancer susceptibility. So our genomes are largely similar, but we do have small differences between each other in our genomes, and these differences can be important in terms of your risk for cancer. Um, so these, these, these risk factors vary in terms of their, um, the risk they convey, some, some genetic features, some are called genetic variants that, that exist among us. Some of these genetic variants confer, confer very high risk of cancer, some of them confer relatively, um, uh, or they, they increase cancer risk by, by very small amounts. And some are, are very um, rare in their um, sort of frequency in the population. For example, BRCA1 and 2 are relatively famous genes that influence breast cancer risk, although it's you know, a very small percentage of the population carries those mutations. But for those that do carry them, they have a very high risk of breast cancer. On the other end of the spectrum, we have these more common genetic variants, which means you know, 30 to 40, 50 percent of us in this room may carry common variants that confer very low increases in risk in breast cancer. So you, you may just go from you know, a 5% risk to a 6% risk of breast cancer lifetime. Um, so these are the sort of the types of, of, of genetic features we're interested in identifying. Um, and I just want to point out that despite we know a lot about genetic features, which inherited features which in, influence your breast cancer risk, the majority of heritability for breast cancer remains uh, to a large degree unknown. So there's definitely more in the genome going on than these risk factors you see in this in this chart. Uh, and my uh, my research is more focused on on this spectrum over here. So the, the relatively common genetic features in the genome, which which increase or decrease uh, breast cancer risk by very small amounts. Um, so one method I mentioned genome-wide association a minute ago. So one method we use to try to identify features that influence breast cancer risk is uh, genome-wide association studies. So in these types of studies, um, we typically use a case control design, meaning we collect data, meaning we collect uh, questionnaire data and, 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 and blood from many um, women who have cancer and many women who do not. And we study early onset cancer, meaning this is a um, breast cancer that develops before the age of 50. And then we measure millions of genetic variants in, in an individual's inherited DNA. Um, so and I often refer to these as SNPs, as single nucleotide polymorphism. So there are millions and millions of these, these changes in the genome. Um, and then we essentially compare the cases and controls to identify SNPs, or genetic variants, which appear to have um, to be more common in cases than in controls, meaning that this SNP um, is more common in breast cancer cases, so it may be related to breast cancer risk. So it's a sort of very simple design, but it's been very successful. Um, this figure here, um, shows um, is a plot of sort of the strength of association between SNPs and breast cancer risk. Um, here on the bottom we have all the chromosomes. We have 20, 22 chromosomes and, and the sex chromosomes. So we just plot the strength of association for every single SNP with breast cancer status in our study. Uh, it's a very simple way of analyzing this data, but you can see that if, if things surpass this red line up here, which is a, uh, a sort of a threshold of significance, that's fairly strong evidence that this SNP is related or this genetic variant is related to developing breast cancer. Um, so this is sort of, you know, analyses we've done and we've identified some interesting signals uh, in the genome, but this, this, this proposal I submitted is related to secondary analyses of this type of data. So huge investments have been made to generate the genome-wide association data. So these case control studies are thousands of individuals and we, we take their blood and measure these thousands of features in the genome. It's a very expensive study to uh, to conduct, and these single sort of you know snip by snip, or you know analyzing one variant at a time, which is the plot I showed you, that's that's what sort of analysis that way they produce important discoveries, uh, but there's a lot more that can be learned from secondary analyses. So, so we proposed a number of approaches which um, which which um, go a little further than sort of snip by snip analysis. Uh, for example, we um, have several strategies which are focused focused on analyzing groups of SNPs rather than one SNP at a time. Uh, we have methods that really incorporate knowledge about 
um, breast cancer biology, and we also um, you know, want to utilize some sort of novel, novel statistical approaches that, that get at these, these two um, uh, ways that we can sort of bolster our ability to detect genes that are important for breast cancer risk. And so I won't get into too much of the details that I've probably spoken too long already. I won't get into too many of the details about um, the, the, the specific approaches we're going to take. There are a number of them. Uh, but we believe that this is going to be a very cost-efficient and effective strategy uh, for making additional discoveries related to early onset breast cancer. And um, we hope that these discoveries will better help, um, you know, help us to better classify women as, as with respect to their risk and also identify genes that were uh, previously unknown to be important for breast cancer biology. <coughs> uh, that is all. Thank you.